Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips for perfumes for beginners. It's going to be all the kinds of things of tips of how to get samples, where you should store your perfume, where you should spray your perfume and all that kind of stuff. If I miss anything out and you guys have any questions just feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you but yeah if you want to know more about the beginning of your perfume journey and kind of the basics keep watching. Okay, so my first tip would be to try as many perfumes as you possibly can, so you can learn what your perfume taste is. Don't just assume that because you're a woman you're going to love the perfumes marketed towards women. I personally believe that perfumes are unisex, it's just the way they're marketed that makes us think otherwise. Like most things in life, marketing controls how we perceive things and there's no difference in that with perfume. However, just because it's marketed to a man or a woman doesn't mean you can't use it if you're the opposite sex. Um, and that's something I've really learned for myself. I don't really tend to be drawn to feminine fragrances or to fragrances that are marketed towards women. It's just what I've learned through trying loads and loads of perfumes. I never really became obsessed with scent until I started to branch into men's fragrances and unisex fragrances and niche fragrances. That's when my love started. And really it's because my boyfriend um, kind of started getting into perfumes a bit before me. So I would go out with him, smell all of his men's fragrances and that's what kind of opened my eyes up to what's available. Um, not all of my fragrances are men's, some are men's, some are men's, most are unisex. I have a couple that are marketed towards women, but honestly I think they're all really unisex. So yeah, that's my first tri tip is just go out, um, try loads and loads of fragrances, don't worry about if it's for a man or a woman, just try them all and each time you try a perfume, um, try it on the skin because it is different for everyone. So each time you try a perfume, um, just look up what notes are in each perfume, that's a really good way to learn what kind of notes you like in fragrances. Before when I would go to a perfume counter and ask which would you recommend, um, the sales associate would usually say well what do you like? And I had no idea what I liked, whereas now I can tell them I like woody fragrances, I like things with patchouli, I like things with amber, I like cedarwood. Um, sandalwood, those kind of things. So now I know a lot more what I do like and it's really just from trying loads of perfumes and then finding out what's in each perfume I like. I have got a video series all about perfume, I'm going to link that below, it's from the summer but it could be really helpful and it kind of just expands further on how you can learn and develop what's inside of a perfume and um, so I'll link those video below for you guys. Okay, the next tip is to get samples. I always say that you should, which is really another tip, always try perfume on um, before you buy it, if you can. Like, I really, really do stress that. Only because perfume develops differently on everyone's skin. So an example of this is Opium by YSL and Black Opium are very, very popular fragrances. I'd say they're as popular as something like Chanel Number no. 5. However, on my skin, um, opium smells like an old lady died on me. It is the worst scent on me in the bottle. I love it just on my skin It's terrible and last year I was looking to buy cocoa by Chanel um, And I was torn between cocoa or opium both I had only smelt in the bottle then well cocoa I'd smelt long before because my mum used to wear it but with opium I'd only smelt it in the bottle and it kind of made me think maybe I should get that until I tried it on the skin and I was like absolutely not. So it's really vital to try things on. With that comes, as I said, trying to get as many samples as you can. It's a really good way to kind of wear a fragrance over a few days as well and see how it makes you feel because you might try it on once, love it, and then not like it. Alternatively you could try on a perfume that you think is average and you don't love and then each time you try it on or smell it, it really grows on you. I had that with a few of my fragrances actually. An example example for that would be French Lover by Frederick Mal. It's probably now one of my top fragrances. I absolutely adore that scent. It might be one of my most worn since I got it. But when I first smelt it on a card and then I smelt it on my skin, I wasn't that in love with it. It was as I wore it through the day that I became obsessed. So that's why I would recommend getting samples. Now the way I get samples is I usually go up to the counter and I kind of have some chit chatting going with the person who's working at the counter. I'll ask them what their favorite of the collection is, uh, what they would recommend for me, um, talk through what I like, kind of just like have some chat with them um, to show you're really interested in the brand. And then after talking to them for a little bit, I might say to them, um, I've already got perfume on today, but I would really like to see how this wears on my skin. Do you have any samples of it? So let them take you through um, the collection, see what you're drawn to, and then ask for a sample of that one. I would never just turn up and be like, do you have any samples? I don't care which one. Um, of course, that's an option if you want to do that. Just for me, I feel like it's more polite to 
actually see what you're interested in and that's the whole point of a sample so that you can see how you like it wear it and then potentially go back and buy it so i would say that's a really good way to get samples is um talk to sales associate see what you like and then just ask for a specific sample with that and just say to them you know i'm wearing perfume today but i would love to see how it wears on my skin okay another tip and this is kind of going over what i've already spoken about a bit is just because a perfume smells great on your friend it doesn't mean it might work on you so the same thing really is um just to try things on because it could develop differently on your your skin um, I have actually seen some youtubers who have said oh, I just bought this perfume because someone I was sitting next to at dinner was wearing it and I'm sitting here like eek because you might put it on your skin and hate it so I guess that kind of blends with my other tips but I do think it is if you if possible it is good to try it before you buy unless you absolutely know you're gonna love the fragrance and then go for it but as I said it could develop a bit differently on your skin I did say to you guys um, a week or two ago that I was looking to um, put samples in my description box rather than the full perfume that I talk about because I do think it's good to try a perfume but I'm really struggling to find samples so what I have been doing is just linking below like the smallest bottle size possible sometimes different brands do travel um, sets and things like that so I've been trying to link those um, however next year I am going to be looking way more into samples for you guys so that will happen I will be able to supply you with samples just, just um, be patient with me guys because it's hard to find good samples Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is where you should spray your perfume. For me, I always spray it on my neck. I spray it once over my head and then I'll spray it on my wrists. Now, I'm a perfume addict, so I do take it a step further than that. I do that whilst before I'm dressed and then once I'm dressed, I'll just spritz it lightly over my clothes. For things like coats and scarves, I will never put perfume on those because I switch up, switch, uh, 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 I switch up my perfume so often that having a coat that smells like one perfume when I'm wearing another really wouldn't work for me. If I got perfume on my scarf, I would probably have to let it air air out before I wore it again just because otherwise it's going to mix too many perfumes together um so for me like clothes like this jumper is actually really really soft it almost feels like wool although I don't think it is because it only costs 25 pounds it's from Zara um this is the jumper I wore in yesterday's vlog if you've been keeping up with vlogmas so I'm really happy with this jumper but this kind of a jumper this is the kind of thing which you're not going to wash very regularly just because of the material and the way the jumper is so I wouldn't spray perfume directly on this however something like a t-shirt or any of my other regular jumpers I just feel like this is a bit delicate to to wash all the time um, but any other regular clothing I would spray it on my clothing and then just wash my clothing ready for a new scent to go on it next time I want to wear it um well, fuck I've lost my train of thought what was I talking about oh yeah where to spray perfume okay so that's how I do it because I'm a perfume addict but what we need to talk about really is what do you want from your fragrance do you want it to be intimate or do you want it to be really strong and attention seeking because for me I think perfume is an intimate thing however as I get further along my perfume journey I want to smell as much of it as possible and that's why I've been putting more layers on just because I get really hooked into spraying it and I can't stop but I do think perfume is a beautifully intimate thing two spritzes on your neck and two on each wrist um, is perfect as in like one two one two not two 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 that I don't know if I'm making sense today I've got Christmas brain guys I can't I can't think clearly um, but that's what I would recommend if you want it to be intimate you will still get a really good scent from it especially when people come close and hug you I think that's such a nice thing about perfume is that it can be intimate if however I, like I said you want it to be really attention seeking and grab people's attention and get compliments on your scent spray it all over um, it's entirely up to you oh also I will just mention um, I heard that you shouldn't rub your wrists together when you spray perfume because you're kind of like rubbing and putting pressure on the molecules inside of the fragrance so it's best if you have got that habit of rubbing your wrists together it's best to stop that habit if you can just spray one spray on each wrist and let it dry that way okay next we're going to talk how to store your perfume where I store my perfume is under this um, little bedside table in a um, old Louis Vuitton box and so they're kind of shaded, they're away from any direct light and it's very cool in my room as well. I don't often put the heating on because I like it to be cool. Um, so yeah, that's really how you should store your perfume in a cool dark place. I have heard of people who are really, really invested in fragrance getting a specific fridge to keep their fragrances very cool and dark inside, which is a great idea. I think that's probably the best way you should store them. Recently we went to Paris and we went inside Frederick Mal in Paris. They have a standalone store now, which is really, really cool and all of their fragrances, not the ones they had out on the shelves for you to spray, but all of the fragrances um, just around the room which were kind of there for decoration were in this huge fridge which was really cool. Um, I definitely think that's the 
proper way you're meant to store them but if you haven't got access to store all your perfumes in a fridge not many of us do then just keep them in a cool shaded dark area um i got asked a question this week also about um whether i have a rule on how many perfumes i have opened at once because this person was worried about them going off completely understand where you're coming from with this but i switch up my perfume so often that i just have them all open at once as i said i just keep them in a shaded area where it's cool and they last really well like that Okay, so lastly, I just want to talk about something which I have already touched on in the beginning of this video. It really is to ignore all rules when it comes to fragrance. As I said, if it's for a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. If you love it, it's for you. It doesn't matter what gender, what sex you are, what your favourite colour is. Any of those details are equally irrelevant. If you love it, it's the perfume for you and that's what matters. Honestly, no one's going to say to you, you smell like a man or you smell like a woman. They're just going to think you smell great. One of my favourite fragrances for men currently is Rose of No Man's Land by Byredo. I think it's a beautifully feminine rose, but very unique fragrance. And when my boyfriend Alan wears it, I just fall madly in love with him all over again. I think it shows a very nice sensitive side to man but you wouldn't necessarily know it was a feminine fragrance if you weren't into fragrance. I just feel like I pick up on those notes as a woman, but it's absolutely stunning on a man. It doesn't take any of his masculinity away. In fact, I think it adds to it. So really wearing any type of perfume you love is just incredible. And I would really, really endorse you to step out of um, gender stereotypes and gender roles and just live the way you want to live. And I think that whether you want a woman's or a man's, in quotation marks perfume it's a great place to start with kind of pushing those barriers and those boundaries and yeah i would really recommend that okay guys so those are some of my kind of tips for beginners about perfume i just touched on a few things today that i've been getting asked a lot in the comments recently so hopefully this has been helpful to you guys for me just to answer it all in one place here for you as i said i have done a series about perfume for beginners before um, i'm going to link that down below hopefully you guys enjoy it and find that helpful too we haven't got long now of vlogmas if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more but you've missed out then i have been uploading every single day throughout december for vlogmas so there's a lot of content for you here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you haven't already then subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it in the comments below i love hearing from you guys it's one of the best parts of making youtube videos probably it is actually the best part so yeah hope you enjoyed it and i should stop rambling um i love you guys thank you for your support merry christmas and if you don't celebrate christmas have a wonderful time with your family and i'll see you tomorrow okay i am going now bye